Hey everyone, the e bike Cowboy here, and that's MX Electric, and for today's video, we're going to be riding around with Duron. Are you ready? <laughs> ah, what a lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, so when I was on the Starron, it wasn't quite, it's nice and fast, but as you see, I'm not quite comfortable on it yet. Or compared to my juice, I'm back on my juice, then I can see that I'm just a little more comfortable on this bike. I just probably just need to get used to this for the Starron. That's all. But man, it's a wonderful day. In just a second, I'm going to uh, use um, a helmet camera. I just put the attachment on top of my helmet, and in just a little bit, as soon as we take our next break, um, I'll put the uh, helmet mount on. Or I already have the mount on. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, you do. <laughs> First, I gotta catch up with them. Hello. Hi. Do you feel a difference when you go from riding the Surround back to your juice? It's a little slower, but it's. I was just telling the camera uh, this. This is just a feels com more comfortable to me. They are comfortable, huh? You. I mean, uh, it's weird. You get on them, and they are. Are they both very nice, and they're both comfortable? And you'd think getting off the Surround going to the juice that. It'd be like, oh man, going from like a Ferrari to, you know, a Volkswagen or something. And it's not, I mean, it's not as fast or powerful, but it's really comfortable. So yeah, it's surprising. This definitely rides better though. Oh man. Not that that one rides real bad or anything, but when you get into the rougher ground, this, you barely even feel it. One's a little dusty. <laughs>
There, nice spot for camp. How much power do you have with there? 69%. Dang. 69%, dang, that's, wow, that thing uses a lot of power. I haven't even lost a bar yet on my juice. Okay, okay guys. We're just going to take a break for a little bit and just check out some scenery. And then next, next, I will do some helmet cam for all of you. Okay, see you then. Yeah, the Zeron definitely does better in the softer sand than the Juice does. I can, you can get stuck very easily on this bike compared to the Zeron. It just goes through the soft sand like it's nothing. Or maybe it's just me and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what do you guys think of the new helmet cam? I can like turn this way, you can see. I can turn that way and you can see. But then I have to remember to pay close attention to the road or I'll eat it. Let's go down that one. How come? Uh, it doesn't look quite as sketchy as this one. All right. Oh man, you can see mud coming off my tires. Look at all the solar panels up close. Pretty cool. Up some beer bottles. Someone had a party there. <laughs> Your brake squeal big time. <laughs> Well, for being May, it's nice out. It isn't too hot or anything. Feels pretty good. Give it a month, though. This time next month ain't going to be like this. Yeah, more than likely, huh? Yeah, that's all right. I think, um, I think I like the Pirelli Scorpion, um, soft front tire better than this Bridgestone um, 203. It just seemed like it just worked a little better. Well, the back works good. It gets really good traction now, but it's just, you know, with the more traction, you're losing a little bit of, you know, acceleration. But when you're just running around an eco, but at least this way, we'll see how far you can, you know, go if we can do our big loops in eco mode, not run out of batteries. Should we go down to that soft spot and I can ride through it on this? Well, I'm not gonna be able to go through it as good as you. Well, you can just stop at the top. I just wanna go through it and then I'll All just right. turn around and we'll come back. Okay.
at that dog. Oh. He's actually, I think he's actually, he's actually chasing me. That dog was actually chasing me. I, he was completely on the other side. Uh, I don't hear him anymore, so he must have left. Well, I did the little soft spot where we were testing the Kenda Classic versus the 244 Shinko and um, you just have more power, the little narrower tire. I, d I didn't even do it standing up. I just sat down on the Surron and it's just like straight as an arrow. It's, I think the combination of a narrower front tire and just more acceleration, you have more momentum to keep you up on top of the sand rather than kind of pushing your way through. So um, it, that's where I notice places where I'm used to kind of have to tippy toe with the, the juice and kind of, you know, till I can get straightened out so I don't lose the front end or it doesn't start sliding. You know, on the Surron, it's just, jeez, you can hit it twice as fast. Are you going to show and, us? Huh? Are you going to show us? Sure. Hope you guys can see good. Here he comes, he's coming back. It's like that. Sweet. Well, that was us riding the 2022 Sauron X. What did you guys think of the bike? Let me know in the comment section. Do you like it? Do you think it's better than the Juice? Let me know, I want to know. I'm curious. Well, I, for today at least, I think that will be it. So, if you've been enjoying my content so far, please consider to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving this a like. And just thank you again for always watching my videos. And I appreciate you guys. Well, until then, I'll see you guys on the trail.